Hi guys. Um, before we uh, get into today's video, there's a little something that I'm going to address with you all. Okay. Um, this, right, my, my bong. You guys have seen this on my channel several times. Um, primarily at the beginning of uh, majority a majority of the videos that are in like 2022 like the, my, my my most modern day videos okay um you guys see me take a hit of my bong at the beginning of every single video and that's kind of my tradition it's kind of like a good luck thing at the beginning of every single video and um kind of in the chase here you guys might be asking at this point okay why why is he addressing this this is why your comrade commented, Okay, excuse me, I joined to look at how to start Unit 2, not how to light up a bong, or whatever these things are called. Regardless, great video, I think. I immediately removed this comment. Immediately removed this comment. Number one, I don't want this drama on my channel. Number two, I don't care about what you want to see and what you don't want to see. If you don't, if there's something you don't want to see on this channel, you can go ahead and unsubscribe from me. I do not care. That number, that 173, does not matter to me, okay? I do this for a hobby. I do not do this for money. I do not do this for attention. I do not do this for clout. Why am I uploading to YouTube? Because I build shit. I like to build shit. And I also want to show off the shit that I build. And maybe along the lines, this will help somebody out with something that they want to do. If maybe they're planning something similar. Like, for example, like, I, I know the video I did about three months ago on a realistic boiling water reactor. That snot doesn't have anything to do with building anything. Well, I mean, it's a simple tutorial. I mean, just want to show you guys something. I like to show people stuff. I like to show people what is out there like i like i want the cool stuff you know like and not, not only that i i have i have tourette syndrome i have adhd okay this i rely on this i rely on marijuana okay it's legal in my state i live in the state of nevada i'm 22 years of age i could smoke as much marijuana as i want to in this household i can own you're, you're, up to what's legal to own um Okay, I, you will see marijuana usage on this channel, regardless, absolutely regardless of what you say or what you think. I do not care what you have to say. I do not care what you have to think. I do not care about your opinions, okay? If you don't want to see me using marijuana on my channel, by all means, see you later, man. I, I don't want this drama on my channel. Okay? My channel is my channel. My channel is going to be the way that my channel is going to be. I am never going to monetize my videos because I do not want or care to make any money off of this channel. This is specifically a hobby. Okay, So if you guys have a problem, if you guys have shit like that to say, I kindly ask you leave it off. Leave it off my channel. You guys ignore that Discord thing. Leave it off my channel. I kindly ask you to leave it off my channel. If I see stuff like that, if you're going to be a Karen and just post that, okay? That's completely, number one, that's completely unnecessary. Completely uncalled for. Kills the fucking vibe for everybody else in the comments section. Stuff like that will just be removed. And if you're going to continue to comment stuff like that on my channel, I'm just, I'm just going to remove it and hide you from my channel so you won't be able to comment at all. Make as many alternative accounts as you want to, okay? So, without any further ado, hopefully with this addressed and out of the way now, Let's get on to the video. Actual video now. What is going on, you guys? This is Robbie the Atomic Engineer here. And today, we are back in Roblox. Okay. Um, you guys have, for those of you that have been watching my channel, hopefully for a while now, I guess, for, um, I guess for over a year. Mm -hmm. mm, let me do a check here. Yeah, a year. So for... Those of you that have been watching my channel for a year, um, you know that I've been pretty deep into um, reactor science, atomic science, um, reactors, and stuff like that. Um, one of the videos on my channel from over a year ago at this point, um, it was a little tile, uh, Minecraft, it was in Minecraft with the mod Little Tiles, um, version 1.12.2, I believe. 
with that um, semi-modular RBMK reactor from Leningrad, uh, Leningrad Unit 4 that I was building. Well, that's kind of what this video is about today because um, what's in front of me here is the next step of that. Okay, um, this, this one is fully modular, this one is fully complete. Um, this is an RBMK reactor like you have never seen it before. This also has a complete working RCPS system. Okay, we go to the Explorer here. I have it all named out correctly here. I'm um, using, people are probably going to get mad at me for using um, SAR, for using the terminologies here that I'm using currently with this reactor. I know, I get it. The terms that I'm using here are from an RBMK 1500 reactor. It's the exact same thing because these RBMK 1000 reactors use uh, MCR, use MCR1 um, control rods, uh, manual control rod version 1s. They're, um, they're a boron carbide control rod, boron carbide control rod with a graphite displacer at the end of it. Um, the boron carbide, the boron carbide part of the control rod is, um, think literally the whole entire size of the channel I believe if not just three about three quarters of the size of the channel and then the graphite displacer at the end of it is um, about three quarters of the size of the boron carbide so basically with this being fully withdrawn right now all that's inside of the core right now is a graphite displacer it is supposed to be telescopic it's supposed to telescope down and up I don't fully understand how the reactors um, control rod drive mechanisms do that but um remains to be seen I guess um so these are the MCR1 rods um right now I have all the AZ rods out um I have all the um SAR rods all the SAR those SAR rods um out technically those are yeah technically those are out cause um the bottoms of the SAR rods are a um, actually boron. So I'm gonna take this one. Uh, let's take. I'll take one further out than that. If the game would cooperate with me here. And I'm just gonna pull this one. Pull this one up all the way. You can see it graphite coming out coming out red hot <laughs> designed it that way I think it looks kind of cool now these are this is an SAR rod um, these are the complete opposite of um, the MC of the MCRs and um, basically their purpose is to control the reaction at the bottom of the core um, they're 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 barely used. They're barely moved anyway. Um, so basically, as I'm pulling this thing up right now, that would technically be inserting the control rod. Um, the boron, the boron, boron. I, I, I wouldn't call it a displacer. The boron shim. I guess it's a shim at this point. I mean, the boron tip is currently being pulled up into the reactor, and that would be slowing down the chain reaction. So that's that's what the that's how the um, MCR or the SAR rods work. I'm a little tired. Um, this is, like I said before in the beginning of the video, this is a fully, fully modular reactor. Don't know why the game is being so buggy on me today. It just wants to be, I guess. Literally freezing up every fucking step it gets today. Holy crap. Um... This is, this is pretty laggy, especially with the control rod movement, Roblox moment. Um, I thought because I had that out. Um, like I said before, this is a fully modular reactor, so you could click on literally any part of this reactor. Go down, click a random graphite brick if you wanted to, and pull that out. Um, the flange, or the fittings, fittings come off. Graphite bricks, of course. The graphite bricks do come off. Um, set 
Oh, I'm not releasing this. I'm not releasing this build at all, so I don't really need to tell you that information. But um, I set my increment to 1.8, and that perfectly, perfectly, perfectly places the parts right back to where they came from. Um, the control rods, the control rod drive mechanisms um, are also fully modular. Um, I'm just currently working out a few quirks with the RCPS system. Um, if you're curious what RCPS stands for, that stands for, I believe, that stands for Reactor Control and Protection System. And that's basically just the control rod, the control rod system and its corresponding sensors and whatnot, based off of an assumption. Um, um, again, all, all of these, all of these rods work, um, um, basically how this... How these work is that there is a constraint with the config. It's a constraint. It's a um, prismatic constraint that's glued to the top of the uh, control rod drive. And it's the rod is glued to the bottom of it here. I can show you exactly how you set this up. This will probably be doing a lot of people a favor because I'm pretty sure there's a majority of people out there wanting to know how the fuck you make a working piston servo and Roblox F3X build tool. So we're just gonna delete this one that I had right here and we're gonna start it from the very absolute beginning. So the very first thing to do, okay, now take my tip take my tips on this or don't take my tips on this. Very first thing you want to do is select the part that you're going to be centering your servo on. You're gonna to wanna to copy this coordinates down here. I don't even know if you guys can see my cursor. Can you guys see my cursor? I want to see if you guys can see my cursor. Let me see if I can change that real quick. Okay, quick uh, quick setting change. You guys can now see my cursor, thank God. So, this coordinates here, you're going to want to take a... Oh, you're going to want to take a screenshot of these coordinates. That's step absolute one. So, I'm going to take my snipping tool and take a screenshot of those coordinates. Okay, now that I have a screenshot of those coordinates, um, we can completely click off of this. Now we go over to the config. This is this is Build Island. If you're wondering what game this is, this is Build Island. Don't think it will show you. This is Build Island with F3X build tools. Um, so you're going to want to go to your config tab. This is your constraint. Basically, your constraint. This configures your constraint tool. Or it's a two-in-one. You configure constraint and create constraint. So you're going to want to create a prismatic constraint. It'll spawn right where you are. Um, go back to your B tools. Um, set this to whatever. Whatever you want. Uh, set that to whatever you want. Click on this. Okay. Um, don't worry about the Y. Do not. Please do not. Just don't concern about the Y coordinates at all. Especially with this. It's very finicky. Um, this is me just barely being able to do this. Um, I have all of mine glued to my servo, or I have all my servos glued to the, um, MCR, or to the RCPS motors, or to the RCPS mechanisms. And just, I'll just call them control ride drive mechanisms, just not to confuse you guys. I have mine glued. Um, I guess I should recommend you guys weld your servos. It works the exact same way. So let's get this centered on here. Um, 2471.525. Okay, that is now dead center with that is now dead center with that. The next thing you're gonna want to do after you get it centered. I mean, if you really want to test this here, it's centered. There you go, it's centered. Um, you're going to want to hit B or go over to your surface tool. Okay. Um, hit the top. Weld. Hit the... Where is the bottom? Hit the bottom. Weld. Let me just ensure the top is also well. Okay. Uh, weld. You're going to want to do a weld operation with this. Do not glue it. 
um, because I currently have a problem. If you're wondering what's why the that's why my reactor is completely taken apart at the moment. There's a biological shield. I know you guys wanted to see that. That's why my reactor is completely taken apart at the moment because if I put the upper um, components back on, if I put the upper components back on, um, I believe. Oh God, that lag. How about that? Um, um, it's, I believe it's this rod right here, if, if you can see that. I believe it's, it's one of these on this side. It, uh, glues to the top section of the channel here. And it, when I take this back off, it drags the rod with it. Only just, only one rod, which has got me confused on what is actually going on with that. But anyway, hopefully welding this will fix that problem, so... Now that you've welded this, make sure, well, obviously, it's going to be anchored. Um, now that you've got that set to weld, the next thing you're going to want to do... Um, you're going to be cloning this, I hope. You're going to be cloning this, so let's set this up for cloning. Um, hit config, it doesn't matter which one you click on, it'll be the same thing. Um, set it to servo, and set it to limits enabled. Um, servo max force I just set mine to 200,000 um, Just because why not you want that torque to drive the part that you're gonna move um, You're gonna want to set linear responsiveness to 1,000. That's what I found to work the best um, Set your lower and upper limits. You're gonna want to set your upper limit to zero, of course um, Lower limit the absolute lowest limit I have set on this reactor right now is 71.9 um, my maximum, my new maximum rod travel is just 52, so I'm going to set my lower limit to that. And then you're going to want to set your speed to just one that's realistic enough, I guess. So this thing is now ready to clone, and it is ready to be unanchored, so when you do unanchor it, you can do that. Um, um, rule of thumb number one, do not, I, I really suggest you guys try to, figure out number one figure out this exact spot that this is going to weld you're going to want to barely you're going to want to drag this up and just barely barely touch the top of it into there bit to where the box i guess just barely sinks into there like that do not unanchor this and then re-anchor it and then clone it from there Bad things will happen. I'll just say that at the least. Bad things will happen. It does not like it. It will literally, if you once you unanchor that one, it'll literally just whoop, and just sink right into the one you just cloned it off of. So, um, if you're gonna clone it, like clone, do whatever you want with it. Blah blah blah. Um, do not unweld it or do not unanchor it yet. Um. Wait until you have them all placed, and then unanchor it. Um, or if you have the patience, you can just do this one by one. If you do it one by one, you're guaranteed to not have that problem. I'm pretty sure from what I found out and tested. Um, so now that you got to the point where it's like, okay, you're you're ready to. You put your um. You put your servo up there, you have your servo configured, you're ready, you're now ready to unanchor this, and hopefully it does it first try with me. You unanchor it, perfect. It's it's anchor, It's welded to your CRDM, and as you saw, it moved up like that. You are now ready to put your control rod on there, so I'm going to go ahead and spawn a cylinder here. Um... You know what? We're just going to use my control. We're just going to use the drive tape here as the example. Okay, so this is how you attach it to the bottom of the servo. It's very easy to do this. It tells you exactly when it's attached. Same thing as before. Bring it up. Barely touch it to it like that. Let go of it. Wait like a second or two and drag it down. If it is attached, which this one was not, you gotta barely touch it to it. It's not being. Should do it at some point here. And this is just to double check. This is unanchored. Right? Yeah, that's unanchored. So. 
when this is attached, it should. Hold on. Being a real pain in my ass. Okay, um, let's see here. Um, tools. That should that this has say this is say this part here is just your control rod for right now, okay? Okay, let's not do that. Say this is just your control rod for now, right? Barely touch it to that. Come on, well to it. Okay, I think it did it there. No, it didn't. Okay, well, it does it with glue for sure. So uh, screw that shit. Um, if you guys can do it with weld, I applaud you. I'm gonna do it with glue. I guess glue is like the only one that I could get to work with this. So with glue, drag it up, barely touch it, let go. That's how you know you have. That's how you know you have it attached. It should do that when you drag it back down. Does not matter. You are now ready to unanchor your control rod itself. So unanchor that. It should come back up to its set position. You can now go over to config. Click on your servo. So click on your servo and set your target position to whatever you want say for example like 10. Okay. There is an absolute rule of thumb with this. Um, if you have a minuscule amount of control rods like this say like five control rods and you only have like I guess like 600 parts I still recommend you do this but you do you I recommend I recommend this because literally um I had it happen to me um rule of thumb my rule of thumb at least before you save before you drop your save do this okay select your control rod hold shift select your um servo and anchor it then you can select all and then drop your save if you save this thing okay with these unanchored if you have as many parts as i do 51,244 that's how many parts are conceived in this reactor okay if you do that like i do um how this game works i guess it loads union parts first you cannot union servos together. They will not work. They will not do anything. They'll literally just be a singular part that you can't do jack shit with. So, um, rule of thumb, anchor all of your control rods to your servos. Uh, or just strap anchor all of your control rods and anchor all of your servos before you drop the save. Okay. If you load this thing up, if you build this thing, with that many parts, okay? If you load this thing up, the control rods will fall out of the bottom of the reactor like Lego bricks, so will the servos, and you will have to rebuild the whole entire thing just like I had to do. Rule of thumb, again, anchor. Anchor and then save. Once you have the save with all of them anchored, you're fine. You can load this thing up as much as you want to. Cool. If you're going to update it, make sure to anchor okay another little tip to you guys uh, with explorer i suggest you guys group these okay i have my parts grouped into um folders and i have them named say for example the whole entire upper biological shield if i wanted to move that right now cool let's click on that i don't think i have the fittings on there i do oh well uh, say if I wanted to move the whole entire upper biological shield, I could, if I wanted to. Say if I wanted to move the whole entire lower biological shield, I can do that. Very easy. Okay, so um, rule of thumb. Um, let's see. So if you were going to anchor this, you would go S A R rods, and then the servos, and then M C. The rods, 
and then the servos go ahead and press M if hopefully I'm praying to God you guys are on um, desktop for this or a computer with this anchor you're you're set drop your save okay at this point you can just drop your save yeah I'm gonna leave mine on anchor so I could just for the sake of the video I guess um it's fine um yeah definite rule of thumb make sure you anchor all of your control rods and anchor all of your servos before you drop your save because at that point they can load they will stay in place no matter if they're welded to something or not if they're attached to something or not will not matter they will load in the exact same place you left them at and then all you have to do is just select them and then unanchor them and then you can play with it um another little again another tip i think i really highly 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 suggest you group your parts into folders if not outright group them as models um, i don't have mine grouped as models um i just have my parts union together again you can't union the servo if i union this servo to that right now it's useless i can't move it it's 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 yeah um so i hope you guys at least found this a little bit useful um weld definitely weld weld the servos to the top of your control hard drive mechanisms or whatever whatever you're using this is basically how to make a working piston this isn't specifically for control rods you could move rotate this thing to any axis you want to um this i'm just showing you guys basically how to set it up and how to get it attached and stuff like that so um so there's that question answered hopefully for you guys you could set that up um weld 110 percent weld the servo to the top or weld the servo to whatever you're doing and then the part that you're moving glue it to it uh, at, least that, at least that's in my case you guys can go ahead and fuck around and experiment maybe you guys will find something better than i can um, this is just after a couple of days of testing and rebuilding this and well, building the RCPS system twice, literally twice. And I even went as far as dropping it as a whole separate save right there. Just in case if anything ever happens, that's my, that is my fail safe. I could just spawn that thing in and just drop it right in, regroup it all together, rename it all. I'm set. Anchor it, save it into the reactor. I'm set. So, um, kind of running out of stuff to talk about and think about here. Um, I guess I'll show you guys around the rest of the reactor. Um, this is the upper biological shield. Everybody knows about this part. It's infamous for Chernobyl Unit 4. This isn't Chernobyl Unit 4. This is Leningrad Unit 4. Um, there's a top ring that goes just below the lower biological shield. This is what the biological shield actually rests on. And of course, everybody knows the reactor floor itself. Um, of course, I have all the caps removed. It does have audio. It does have little special effects. I thought that would be cool. Of course, I did. Oh, I'm tired. Oh, I did put it to where there's like a little steam leak, I guess, out of the top of one of the channels. Um. Very loud. <laughs> so, uh, that's there, there's the RCPS system, and um, this is the reactor. This is hopefully something like you guys have never seen before. I would take this thing the rest of the way apart right now, but again, the, the control rod system is very finicky. You know what, just for the second video. Yeah. I'll take the vessel apart for you guys. Shouldn't be a problem. Uh, screw it. Just put it above the biological shield. Okay, there's the inner core flange out. So that's what that looks like now. And taking the actual physical vessel off. some more go there you go there's the entirety of the graphite core if you guys don't believe me 
I'm hoping you guys can see the staggering. I can literally hover over it. Everything here is separate. Every brick was hand stacked. Well, almost every brick was hand stacked. Um, you guys will notice these two concept channels out here. Basically how I built this thing, I placed all the white shield bricks on the lower biological shield first. Place that layer first. Then I stacked... Let's see. Um, yeah, no, I stacked the first channel on the biological shield. It was either this side. It was one of these sides. Did the coolant, ref did the coolant reflection channels first. And then I did the inner core. Um, I ticked these out. Um, this is a regular channel. This is a stagger channel. You can tell it's a stagger channel because it starts and ends with a um, half a graphite half brick. So um, I took these out so I could just easily select select them, clone them, so I could drag it over here and build the core outside of the reactor. So I wouldn't have to literally crawl into this lag zone that I'll show you now. Um, I don't know how well it's picking it up on OBS, but um, my frames are chopping right now at the bottom of this thing. And um, I'm running on a Ryzen 5 3600X with 16 gigs of DDR4 on a 1080 Ti. So that's just that for reference. So let's get back together. How you space the vessel out is literally you just drag it down until it meets up with the top rim of the flange. And there you go, that's installed. And biological the, the lower biological shield tucks under just like it should if you guys can even see that. Hopefully. You can see the lower biological shield tucked up underneath the uh, vessel just like it the real thing is. So um, I guess completely running out of stuff to say now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I'm going to go ahead and end this video off here. Um, we are 32 minutes in. Um, I try not to make my videos this long, but you guys know me. I will love to go into detail. So, um, hopefully you guys find something in this video useful. Um, this is the furthest I have gotten any one of my reactor builds um, that I have ever done. Oh, this is the furthest I've gotten the modular build. I have a full, I have a whole entire RBMK reactor built. Circulation pumps, um, steam separator drums, all that stuff in Minecraft. Um, I've, I, there's a video of that on my YouTube channel too. That's, that's just a concept that's inaccurate. Um, this, this, this one I consider a serious milestone here. So, um, my next step after com literally completing this, um, I don't know what I'm going to do to make the, I don't know what I'm going to do to make the fuel rods. If I do make fuel rods at all, because predicting that each fuel rod is going to be approximately 35 parts each, times that by... 1,661, if that's the exact amount of channels here that are dedicated to a fuel rod, um, that equivals over 58,000 parts. 58,331, I think, if I remember from what I did on the calculator. Yes, I actually added this up. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm already at 51,000. Adding 58,000 on top of this, that's literally going to be like a hundred and... Like 106, 110,000 parts. I want to try to compensate for lag, but I don't know how it's going to go. Out. Anyway, um, the next step after completing this reactor, um, I'm taking this into Roblox Studio, and I'm finally going to build it there. Um, I have a friend, um, Sokir. He goes by Paparikos. 
in his server. Um, he's going to help me out. He's um, he's the owner and founder of the Chernobyl Unit 3 game on Roblox. Um, um, he's going to help me out with coding the control rod movement with the reactor in studio. So this will get interesting down the line, guys. I know it's been four, it's been four years of me researching this and just building concepts left and right, fucking around with reactors and shit like that. Um, it's been four years. Stuff's finally going to get interesting. Stuff's going to get better from here. There will be updates. Um, you, uh, eventually, you guys will get to see this thing completely put together. Don't have much posted in my Discord server. Um, but yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and end this video off here for the final time. Um, <laughs> Hope you guys found something useful in this video. Hope you guys are wowed by this. Um, hopefully this is um, an RBMK like you've never seen it before. That is my sheer attempt with this build, specifically with any of the reactors that I build. I want to like to pick it out. I want to put it out and build it to give you guys like a view, to give you guys something to look at that pictures of Chernobyl and RBMK reactors alone just won't give you um so yeah i'm ending this video off here thank you guys for watching really appreciate you guys that i appreciate you guys that like comment and actually watch my videos that actually comment um post comments guys i reply to my comments i see my comments so without any further ado um this is robbie the atomic engineer Operate safe.